Hello. <laughs> I mean, that's to my mic on. I was just in the chair, so there's probably some clank in there. Uh, how's everyone doing? Today we're playing Infinite, obviously. Uh, but a little bit different today, as I just genuinely want to. I want to have a general discussion about the state of the game with you guys, the the community. Uh, so. I don't know where we're going to start. I'll wait for some people to come in and start the conversation. But I will be giving double XP out throughout the stream. So that's cool. I'm assuming that's the one that I've just... But yeah. Uh... It's going to be, hopefully, a pretty fun stream. So, how's it run doing? Uh, the entrenched event's back, so we'll probably play some of that. Let me spawn to the land side. Okay, those are pretty easy. Granted, I just want to play Pity Team Battle. But we'll start with the game of land grab. We'll see how we do. I've played Infinite in a few weeks, so hopefully... Yeah, I don't get battered. Hopefully. Let me move my mic to the actually. That probably sounded horrible. I'm sorry about that. And then it's the first double XP code. Oh, okay. This is the first time I've actually seen that they changed the loading screen. That's kind of cool. It would have been cool if we had, so like Fortnite, you unlock loading screens. There's a bunch of different ones that rotate. Um, I would have liked something like that. If anyone does redeem that code, let me know if it works first. Because I'm, I'm hoping that's the right code, but it might not be. So if, if someone can, you know, redeem it and then let me know. <laughs> Some drippy spawns here. I hate because there's no cross coatings. Like most people that use the samurai call, you can tell neither of them have really spent any money on it, which isn't obviously a bad thing by it, like at all. But it's so obvious. Brother actually just noob comboed me. Oh my god! I actually just got noob comboed first first match on. That's crazy. I need to occupy the zones, don't I? Not this time. Oh, it's got camo. I forgot all the controls. It's actually like felt like that long. Even though I play campaign now and again, I've actually forgot the controls. I forgot how to play the multiplayer. Melee's the analog stick. It's because I played Halo 5 last night. I've actually just spawned in, that's crazy. There's an echo. Um... I don't know. Okay, it doesn't sound like it's echoing, but uh, I don't know. three of us here. 
Don't worry, I will actually start talking about the, the game in a moment. Um, but I do just need to know, has anyone redeemed that code at all? Uh, I, I, uh, yeah, if, if anyone can let me know if that code works. And Cap1, I did say it after you said there was an echo and I checked and there's no echo. So that might be on your side. How did he kill me so... Oh, he had a battle rifle. I thought he was using a assault rifle as well, and I was so confused, man. I'm so garbage at this game now. It's it's painful. It's actually painful. I just need to play Big Team Battle. Big Team Battle is the only thing I find fun on here. And Big Team Battle isn't even that good in Infinite. I had him coming from behind me. So I turned around to fight him, and there was another one coming from behind me. Uh, what what thing does everyone want to go over first? What what's the the first point of interest people would like me to talk about to give my views on and what's what what's the thing that people want to discuss? Because there's a bit there's been a lot happening with this game at the minute. Like there's been a lot, not not just with the game but with three four three and Halo as a franchise. Uh, there's just so much that needs to be spoken about because <laughs> it's in such a terrible state. That was two grenades. Well, three of you guys are not in a VC. Yeah, that's not what the point of the stream is. I don't understand why a VC would be necessary. <laughs> oh. First of all, events suck. Land grab isn't awful. I just do not find fun in the slightest. It would be better as a big team battle mode. Like that's not. I'm not just saying that as a as a hard big team battle fanboy. This mode would just be better in big team battle. It's too it's too cramped for arena. Okay, at least I stuck him. Uh. Did everyone hear about the new emblem, the Juneteenth one? That was uh, that was fun. It felt like yesterday was such just an embarrassing day for the game. We've lost this game. Like, oh, oh my days! I remember why I take a, I took a break from it. Holy crap! I need a longer one. Uh, yeah. So basically, the Juneteenth emblem. For those that didn't know. Uh, basically, it's an emblem that represents like the end of slavery and whatnot. And the name of the colour palette... I forgot to put double XP. The name of the colour palette was Bonobo, which is the name of a monkey. So to say that's like pretty embarrassing, the fact that that was left in the game, would be an understatement. Uh, it's it's like crazy that's that made it in. Obviously, it was changed very, very quickly. Understandably so. Um, <laughs> yeah, it was uh, it was just so odd that it even made it past. Sadly, see no DLC coming up other than the shop items. I don't agree with that. Uh, there will definitely be story DLC. And all the... You, you won't get, like, map packs because, obviously, the maps are all coming out for free and all stuff like that. A anything multiplayer-related won't release as a DLC. However, there will 100% be story DLC. And I'm not just talking about your story events. There will definitely be story DLC. How are you doing, Grain? Um, Infinite's obviously a very open-ended game. And if this is going to last for the next 10 years, I don't know how much I believe that that 10-year plan is going to go through. But if this game does last the next 10 years, uh, quite frankly... Um, there will be story DLC within those 10 years because they're not going to wait 10 years to carry on the story. I unlocked something just... And I don't know what. I wanted to look at something. Or did I? I don't know. I do not know. I'm just going on Big Team Battle. Has anyone claimed that double XP code yet? <laughs> 
I need to know if it works. But yeah, I, I'd see Infinite Gate Story DLC. I don't know when. I reckon maybe in a year or two. Which sucks because the fact that like you have Destiny 2, which I believe has like a big story expansion pretty much every year. And then Halo still hasn't got anything. When do you think we'll get Forge? Well, the announced Forge are going to beta November. Um, the this Season 2 roadmap. When the announced Season 2 would be six months. Let me get it up real quick. If you like me share the image, <laughs> so I can zoom in. Okay, Forge Open Beta is estimated for September. So we might get Forge by September. Now, of course, this is the estimated date. It's entirely possible it will get delayed again, but this is when it releases in beta, and after it comes out in beta, it'll be there for good. It'll stay permanently. It'll just release in probably not the best state. It'll be a little bit messy at first. However, um, it will be there. Uh, so September is when Forge is expected. I reckon it might get delayed, but it will be out late this year. Um... Uh, yeah, it won't be two months. It, it, well, then again, I guess. It, about two, three months, isn't it? How long until September? Oh, I'm not doing the math. I'm not doing the math. I don't want to claim the code because I need it, because I don't need it. Completed both passes. Fair enough. <laughs> I, I'm i only halfway through season twos. I got to tier 50, and then I hadn't touched the multiplayer in like a couple of weeks. I Whenever I come on here to record footage for videos, I either play the campaign or I play against bots because I do not like the multiplayer. It's not I don't like the multiplayer, I'm just not having fun with it at the minute. You know what else is really, really funny? The fact that I've used the double XP and it's been almost three minutes and I'm still not in a match and I'm losing three minutes of that double XP. That the fact that that didn't change the season two is abysmal. I don't think anything on the roadmap will get delayed. The roadmap will uh, the roadmap will get delayed. The reason the roadmap took so long is because they want Yeah, no, I get that. Except the thing is 343 also confirmed this wasn't the big roadmap that we were promised. This is just the Season 2 roadmap. We were promised an actual roadmap for the seasons of the game. That was estimated for February. Then it got delayed to March. And then we never got that roadmap. We just got the Season 2 one, which was confirmed to be an entirely separate thing. So I don't know what the deal is there. But the only, thing, the only reason I think... It might get delayed is because it just says September target and it doesn't make a big thing. It's just like sort of small text in the bottom right corner. So that's why I think it, there's a possibility it will get delayed. Why am I on 130 ping? The way the double XP is designed to make you die more. It's so, it's so awful. I mean, they did change it because when the game come out, you only got half an hour. And everyone got mad because it was like, well, it's only half an hour and I lose it in the menu, so what's the point? Uh, but the thing is, I would have no issue if it was only half an hour if it didn't deplete in the menu. Okay, that looks pretty cool. If, it, if the XP didn't deplete in the menu, I wouldn't mind it being only half an hour because at least I'm not going to lose any. It will only go down when I'm in a match, which, you know, is fair. But this... This is awful. I don't care if I have an hour if it takes me five minutes to get into a match. You lose about 15 minutes to XP, uh, double XP when you when using the hour long one. Yeah, yeah, really only 45 minutes. It's 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 it's, it's terrible. There's no way, there's no other way to describe it. It's just a bad system. I mean, the the progression itself is awful anyway. The battle pass isn't exactly the best. There's other, there's better battle passes in the industry that have much better progression. Um, and it's just overall, it's, it's garbage. It's also my birthday. Oh, happy birthday, man. I hope you've had, or having, I hope you're having an excellent birthday. <laughs> I 
thought killing me. He got lucky, he got past that tree. Yeah, but I lose the money. Thing is though, I don't know a single person that's ever brought double XP or challenge swaps. At the end of the day, they want you to buy the credits, not the shop items. I don't think they care if you buy the shop items, because if you buy the credits, they've already got your money. So, I don't honestly think they're that bothered about the challenge swaps and double XP side of things. Come on, man. Am I actually just this bad? Can I blame the ping this match? Is everyone okay if I just blame it on the ping this time? I need that little self-confidence boost, you know? No, oh, stockpile. I'm a moron. Why couldn't it been captured the flag? The the best bag, big team battle mode. Wow. Yeah, we're not we're not getting those seeds, are we? <laughs> we are not getting those seeds. Jesus. I actually ran off from me. Oh, of course, a guy with active camo with a sword. Why am I in a 130 ping server, though? Like, it doesn't make any sense. I die from the hail of the hit voice a lot. I used to be one of them. Then again. Yeah, no, I was, like, a couple of years ago. I started sweating Master Chief Collection, but I wasn't good at it. <laughs> And then Infinite, I was like sort of good when it come out. But I just, I don't know, either everyone else just got better or I just got worse. Like, I don't know what happened. I just feel like absolute garbage whenever I play it now. Oh, come on! How? Give me two seconds. Actually, statements on Twitter heavily implies that the live team is only listening to people who buy, not feedback at all. So if we don't want, if we want change, we don't make the purchases. It's uh, I th it's it's actually crazy how sort of oblivious three four three is to everything. Like last week, everyone was like, well, in fact, when the entrenched event first come on, they removed daily bundles. Everyone's like, what the hell? Please bring back daily bundles. Um, yeah, everyone was like really mad. That they remove dailies, me especially, because now I can't do my daily videos. Um, and then they also imp increase the prices, and I was like, "Why, why, why are you doing this? <laughs> why are you doing this?" <laughs> and three, four, three were like, "Hmm, okay, people are mad about this. Let's increase the prices again. <laughs> it, it, it's, it's ridiculous." I like you're a little rifle skin. Yeah, it's the. It was on the shop. Early season two, I can't remember what it's called. It's the same one that I've got on my battle rifle and sidekick, but I really like it because uh, it changes the ammo counter. That was like the main reason I brought it because it makes the ammo counter red, which I thought was awesome. Oh come on! Huh? I hate this game, man! I hate this game! What the hell was that? I, I, I'm sorry for shouting, but like, what? 130 ping server. I clearly shot and meleeed that guy with a shotgun. Two kills, five deaths. Oh my god! Capgun, I'm really sorry, but whenever I play with you, I get in the worst servers imaginable. I'm sorry, but I can't play on 130 ping. Uh, honestly, if you keep it up, I think your channel might can reach a thousand subs by the end of the month. Birthdays in July, hoping to reach a thousand by then. That would be insane. I doubt it, but that would be crazy. I'm just going to repost the double XP just in case no one's claimed it.
Like, I did nothing. I'm supposed to get 10 kills. I got two. I got two. Oh. I've, I've had, like, games on here where I, I had, like, 40-something kills. I've had a game where I got 19 kills and zero deaths. How am I getting two kills and five deaths? I mean, that isn't exactly dying loads. But the kill-to-death ratio there, I mean, it's two to five. That's pathetic. Actually embarrassing. That's fine. I'm going to invade Portland anyway. Okay. I'm going to ignore that one. I was trashed like two kill, 19 deaths until I went into the settings and changed all kinds of stuff. And the control setting sensitivity dead zone never had to do that on any other Halos. Oh, well, I did do that. Um, I mean, earlier on. Maybe I just need to change them again. Um, I used to play with my dead zones much lower. But it caused my control... Well, it caused drift, so I kind of decided maybe I shouldn't do that. <laughs> big Team Slay on Breaker. This is the least fun Big Team Battle map to play on. Yeah, maybe, maybe I should change my controls a bit. Um, increase sensitivity a bit. Alright. Let's load the dead zones. I'm just going to put them on zero like how I used to play. Oh, that's move, actually. I don't want to change the move ones. That's a bit of a stupid thing to do. Finally got the Zeta Sky, Sky skin today. Yeah, the Zeta Sky one's awesome. I have the Commando one, and I have the Zeta Sky armor coating because I pre-ordered the game. Um, and where I pre-ordered it from, you get the Commando one. I know in some places there's a Battle Rifle and Sidekick one, which look amazing, but I've never seen anyone with those skins. Um, which I'd really love them because when Infinite was coming out, I was like, oh yeah, I want to collect everything. I want to make sure that I unlock everything on this game. I want to get all the ultimate rewards. I want all the stuff on the shop. I want, I mean, I realized all the stuff on the shop wasn't going to be affordable. Uh, so that was just an unrealistic goal. Collecting all the promo skins wasn't, wasn't possible. Like I'm drifting now. Uh, collecting all the promo skins wasn't possible when ho most of them didn't release in the UK. The vast majority did not release in the UK, which made that very hard to do. Well, it literally made it impossible to do, unless I wanted to buy it off scalpers on eBay. But I didn't want to do that. Um, because I'm not giving scalpers me money for because they like stocked up on a bunch of codes. And... As I said, with the ultimate rewards, I just I got bored of the game, so I couldn't be bothered. And a lot of the ultimate rewards were just emblems, so they didn't feel rewarding. And then by the time it was skins again, I was like, I've done the battle pass. I don't really have a reason to go through all of these challenges for what is a really garbage reward. That was a full clip. That was a full clip. Uh, change move and thumb look all to six. I'll try that after this game. I'll see how I do this game first. Uh, but yeah, I just... just <laughs> like, there's just so much that annoys me about this game. You should wear the Zeta Sky skin. Looks great with the Provespa gloves. I might do. I'm not a massive... I mean, I like Zeta Sky, but it doesn't really go with the sort of look that I want. I like my Spartans to look a bit darker, and it's a very bright skin. So it doesn't go with my uh, my overall Spartan aesthetic. I like my Spartans either looking... Um, I don't know what the right way to describe it is. But basically just looking like badasses. <laughs> that went through him! What is this game, man? What What's the ping? Okay, I'm only on 30 ping this game. That's good, that's good. Grenades on infinite feel terrible. I feel like they never land. Yeah, good job, team. You get him camping in that room like cowards. Good job. Also, so few people have Zeta Sky. You'll be the drippiest player in the rarest. Yeah, probably. That was cool. <laughs> 
I wanted to collect the Rockstar stuff, even the special cans, but in Finland, we didn't get any. Yeah, well, I find it really interesting, especially with the Rockstar ones. Whenever Rockstar do a promotion for a game, even in the UK, we always get it. Call of Duty, Gears of War, we always get it. The Warzone promotion, the Monster Energy promotion, we got that. But the Rockstar one, for some reason, was only in the US, and it might have been in Canada as well. Uh, I think it might have been in Canada. But yeah, for some reason, they didn't do the Rockstar one. And I really wanted the coatings. The vehicle ones looked sweet. Like, the black and gold vehicle coatings were awesome. And the assault rifle one was nice. I wouldn't have even minded the emblems. Would I have used them? Probably not. However, I still wanted them. To be able to just sort of think, like, you know, I have these. Uh, I just... And, and then... They just didn't release them over here. Which I was really annoyed about. Uh, so it's like, yeah, it, it's really annoying. The only We've had two exclusive promotions in the UK. And one of them was okay. It's the special exclusive mongoose coating. Uh, you only get it for the mongoose, you don't get it for the gongoose. But it was decent. If I can find a mongoose, I can show you that skin. Yep. So this one, we got this coating. This was an exclusive promotion in the UK. You had to buy from game. You had to buy a Halo-related product over a certain price. I just brought credits. And the game of the code, uh, which was awesome. And we've had the Lucasade one, which has these cool Master Chief balls, Lucasade, uh, which is also I'm doing, I'm doing the double XP one. But that promotion overall was pretty garbage. Now there was an exploit where you could basically get infinite double XP codes. I didn't know that until it had already basically been patched. <laughs> uh, but because it was getting patched, whenever I try and redeem codes, they just wouldn't work. It tell me, hey, you won double XP. But I didn't get anything. So that really annoyed me. Someone can be there with a shock rifle. You're amazing at the game. Okay. Um, but yeah, it, basically all you got with the LucasAid promotion was an emblem. Which at the time you could only use on your armor but has now been changed. And you also got a backdrop which was really mid. Uh, it, was, it wasn't like the worst promotion ever. But it could have been a lot better. It left a lot to be desired. I would have loved a LucasAid weapon coating. Like a shiny orange foil assault rifle coating would have been sick uh, even though the assault rifle doesn't need more um it would have it would have been nice to see something like that uh but yeah as for most of the promotions like there's a best buy one and all this sort of stuff most of them were only in the u.s which is really upsetting i thought i grappled onto him uh, it's really upsetting because there's some really cool stuff that a lot of people missed out on and they haven't brought any of it to the shop. Even though beforehand 343 said they would be bringing promotional skins to the shop. I don't know if they have to wait a certain amount of time or if they've just ditched that idea. Uh, anyway, I will now catch up on chat. Um, if they look like a badass, I run the other way. Fair enough. I got the Rockstar AR coating from some random kind person on Xbox. That actually reminds me, I did get the GameStop exclusive one, Redshift. Someone on Twitter, I entered a giveaway. I didn't win the giveaway, but some random person in the comments saw that I wanted the skin and sent me a code for it. And I, that's how I got uh, that's how I got that one. And that was really cool and I was really happy about it. So I was very thankful uh, to that person because I managed to get an exclusive skin that isn't available in my country. Um, so that was really nice of them. Uh, oh, do you think they'll have that Halo BR mode work done by certain Infinity? I think it will eventually. I don't know if it's going to be BR. I think a lot of people are expecting it to be a Battle Royale. And if it isn't, they are going to be crushed. They've got their hopes up for nothing. Uh, from what I've heard, it sounds like it's basically going to be an evolution of Warzone from Halo 5. Which I would love, but I would also love a Battle Royale. Apparently it's going to be an evolution of Warzone from Halo 5 with Battle Royale elements. Which would be awesome, as long as it still plays heavily into the PvE side of things. But I want a Battle Royale as well. Wow, we've been decimated. Um, I'd, I'd love, I'd love a battle royale. I think it would be amazing. But I, it'll happen. It, it, it might not be in battle royale, but there will be some certain affinity mode at some point. Um, let's see you do the double shot with a battle rifle. You say that like I know what the double shot is. To be fair, like I have no idea, mate. Magpie, would you like to join me? I could invite you on Xbox. Uh, sure. As long <laughs> as long as it doesn't like absolutely decimate my ping. But yeah, uh, send me an invite, and I will join. Or I can send you an invite. Okay. 
Okay, let's change these things. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, we got botted, man. Oh, right, I didn't mean during the party. Uh, my bad. Can't wait until season three. I just finished the season now, but yeah, that's the problem. What I've tried to hold off finishing the battle pass yet because as soon as I've finished the battle pass, you've got the events and and that's it. Let's have a quick look what I look like. Zeta Sky on. Uh, you sent me a game of that as well, didn't you? Let me join your game. That that looks decent. Okay. Uh. Oh, for a second there, I thought our spawns were exactly the same. Like, it, yours didn't load in in the menu. I do like that it has the grey on it. With the shoulders. Because that goes a bit better with my coatings. With my chest piece, sorry. That that does look pretty nice, but that's not the sort of look I'm going for. I just It's too bright. I like uh, the much duller colours. That's why I'm using whichever coating I've got on right now. The wet crow one. The wet crow one looks sweet. I hate that these gloves didn't come with the shoulder pads. I had to buy them separately. That's so scummy. I don't know what my favourite helmet is for the Mark 7. It's either Mark 5 Zeta, Warmaster, or I've grown really attached to Rampart. Uh, sure, send your gamer tag. Um, or in fact, add me and shoot me a message. And I will invite you. What mode are we playing? Oh, BTB. Thank, thank God. Thank God. Yeah, I change my armor a lot. Th this is the look I'm going for right now. But as for... My, the, the only one... The only two, sorry, that right now I am happy with is me Samurai and me Mark 5B. Me Samurai spotting is perfect. I would not change a single thing about this. He is amazing. And I love him. He is so cool. He actually looks demonic. Um, so I, I like, I love that. I just, I just love how he looks. Me Mark 5 one, it's not that I think I've perfected his look. It's more so the coating more than anything. Uh, but I'm missing out on some shoulder pads. I have, I have the security ones on Master Chief Collection on Reach. But to be fair, I don't know how much I like them anymore. So I think I'd just stick to the OST. Um, but I usually have me spawns black and green on every other Halo. It's either black and green or black and red. The only black and green coating that is, that looks the way I want it to look is the Razer one. I am not spending £160 on headphones that I don't need for a coating, for a colour in a game. The fact that I have to spend that much on it is ridiculous. I'm really not that bothered about this call right now. When I join, review my spawn. Okay, I will do. Um... Yeah, I'm not bothered about this core at the minute until I get some armor for it. The armor that comes with this coating, this this coating, I really want. It gives you like an arc reactor chest piece, which looks sweet. Uh, but right now, I'm not bothered. That looks awesome. That looks pretty cool too. Uh, I, I'll have a proper look at them after this match, but since we were loading in. Anyway, I think it's, it's about time we actually talk about some of the stuff uh, relating to Infinite right now. Why break it? 90 ping. Right. I was recommended 6 on my dead zones. On both. Let's move all that to 6. See how that plays. See if I do any better. Okay, we'll give that a go. Um, so, basically, a funny thing with the shop. Obviously, you probably all know the prices went up again. Now, Sketch, one of the 343 community managers, responded to some criticism about this and said it was down to rarity and quantity. I'm going to point out the two main issues with that. One, the rarity means absolutely nothing in Halo Infinite. Now, in a game like Fortnite, which is a live service title, which has a shop similar to Infinite's, Rarity determines the likeliness of certain things reappearing on the shop. 
legendary bundles are less likely to appear. Uh, which, you know, makes sense. Because the legendary, and the legendary items tend to be the best things you can buy. They usually stand out much more. They maybe came, come with some extra content. Like, there's these superhero skins you can get on Fortnite. They're legendary. They're fully customizable. You can change the material of the costumes. You can change the color. They've got all different mask options. They're, they're really cool. And they're a legendary, and you understand why they're a legendary. Uh, on Halo 5, rarity determines the likeliness you will pack a specific item. Again, that makes sense. What does rarity mean on infinite? Nothing. It means nothing. The There is epic bundles that haven't shown up in forever. There's, there's like epic bundles that haven't shown up since the game came out. Since those bundles first released months ago when the game came out, they've not shown up since. There's no way to earn them. So what exactly does the rarity mean? And this is, this is a question a lot of people had. Wasn't really answered. Uh, because because there isn't a valid explanation. The rarity on this game means absolutely nothing. Um, as for the quantity, the bundle that's currently on the shop, I already said this in my shop video, it doesn't contain anything extra than some of the other armor bundles. We had Sea Locks, which was the first bundle of Season 2. It contains the exact same amount as the one yesterday. People did comment on this. Sketch did respond. He said, right, uh, yeah, uh, rarity and quantity aren't exactly the right word. It's more so down to, like, dev time. And I get that some skins take longer to make than others. However, the pricing is very inconsistent. Um, so, it's, it's like, yeah, sure, it might take a bit longer. But, that money isn't going to the person that made the armor. That's not going to the person that 3D modeled the armor. That's not going to the person that drew the artwork for the armor. So that doesn't seem like a valid excuse either. Uh, there's also the fact that, like, quite frankly, um, as far as the dev time goes, look at a game like Fortnite, which has all these different emotes, all these different dances. They're all hand animated. They're not done with mocap. They are hand animated, which would take so much effort. And they're as cheap as 500 V-Bucks. 500. Which... Is like, I mean, if you're in the US, it's probably like four or five dollars. Yeah, you have to buy a thousand V-Bucks, but with that, you can get two emotes, and they're really cool. Uh, and some of the skins as well, like, you know, a lot of the skins on Fortnite are awesome. For Halo, you're basically buying half an armor set for 1,700 credits. That's more than the price of the Battle Pass. And that itself is fine as long as that bundle contains enough. If it contains like more than most bundles, I could, I could you know, justify the pricing, but there's no justifying it because it contains the same as others. Dev time or not, there's no justifiable reason why that one costs more, especially when the armor core you have to unlock as well. So, like, if I buy that, that set, but I haven't unlocked that armor core, if I never unlock that armor core, I can never use that armor that I just brought. Especially considering fracture cores won't be cross-core. So, no justifiable reason. Anyway, I know I wasn't reading chat for a second there because I'd gone off on a big, massive tangent. Um, then just buy 0.5 until it feels right. To be fair, this feels fine. I've just got a killing frenzy. The only cool thing from the shop this week was the eagle claw kill effect for me, but it was kind of overpriced. It's very overpriced. New controller dead zone. Zero, but these controllers so mine's on six for drifting. To be honest, the rarity is just something arbitrary that they used to justify pricing. I think that rarity should be used to show how many people wear have it. I really think rarity should be scrapped unless the rarity is going to, to, to unless the rarity is going to determine how likely those items are to return. Uh, I think trying to use it to justify pricing, like I say, legendary skins on Fortnite cost more than rare ones. They are rarer because they show up on the shop less. However, the legendary ones are also the better skins nine times out of ten. You look at the legendary skins on the battle pass; they tend to be much bigger, cooler skins. Like, uh, you've got Snap on the latest Battle Pass. He's fully customizable. You have all these different pieces you'll want for him. Makes sense why he's legendary. Um, but, yeah, I, I think they should either scrap rarity altogether or basically rearrange the shop and determine, basically, like, the rarity should determine how likely those things are to show up again. Or just add more stuff to the bundles to justify the pricing. Um, like there's the simple fixes. It's crazy because the fixes could be so simple. 
they should let you buy bundled items separately. It's a discount. Uh, yeah, yeah. The, the bundles should provide... Like, again, I'm going to keep using Fortnite as an example because it sets the gold standard, honestly. Um, when Master Chief come out on Fortnite, you could buy Master Chief on his own for 1,500. He had his Pelican Glider, he had his Gravity Hammer Pickaxe, and he had an emote. You could buy all them individually, which would cost you quite a bit. Or I think you could buy them all for just 2,000 and something, which is so much cheaper. If I could buy all the the pieces individually, but then buy the bundle for 1,200 credits, the bundle's the better deal. But at least I have the option to just buy the thing I want. But it depends on what they price them on individually. If they're going to charge me 500 credits for a helmet again, that's not a fair price. That is one single item for 500 credits. That's not fair. Um, so it, it depends on how they do it. Because if the prices are unfair, then, you know, there's no point. Uh, oh, we won. That was, that was a good game. Good game. Some items I don't really want. Yeah, I, I get that. I brought Warmaster mostly for the helmet and the helmet attachments. But I saw a lot of people complain that the other items were fill it. I think the shoulder pads were fine. I think the chest piece was fine. Uh, the coating was okay. I wouldn't consider that fill it. It's just for some people, you're not going to like that. Some bun bundles you might just buy for the shoulder pads. That doesn't mean the helmet in that bundle is fill it. You just don't like the helmet. Uh, so that argument can be a bit of a hit and miss. Um... I spent four hundred dollars and leveled up to hundred on both seasons. I'd have brought everything from the shop. I wish I could afford to do that. Jesus, I wish I had the money to do that. Um, God damn. I mean, I I dropped about thirty pound when season two came out. Brought the battle pass. Wanted some of the stuff on the shop, but there was nothing good for the first couple of weeks. Uh, like. <laughs> I don't know. I think there's good stuff on the shop. Like, Eagle Claw, it's cool, but that's not worth 700 If it came with the effect set, the walking effect set, and it was both of them bundled together, 700 fair enough. If they were, like, let's say, 400 each on their own, but you could buy the set for 700 that would be a good deal. You get them for 100 credits cheaper. Like... <laughs> Shop should have more stuff. No daily stuff anymore, too. Guess that was too much work. Yeah, with the dailies, what I find interesting there... So, some people say, I'm glad they got rid of dailies, as it makes FOMO better. It means there's less FOMO. But that's not true. If there's no daily items, it means there's a lower chance for old bundles to come back, which means some of those old bundles you might never see again. Which, if anything, makes FOMO worse. There should be two daily bundles. There should always be at least... At least two daily bundles. Now, I think they should expand the shop. Give it an extra four slots. Four dailies, four weeklies. That would be cool. They could have one daily dedicated to new daily items. And the other three could be cycling through older content. I would love that. I think that would be so much better. And something that 343 should definitely do. I do have a big shop video coming out. It's a much bigger one. Not talking about what's on the shop. But talking about ways they can fix the shop. Uh, so, check that out when it comes out. Um, shop should have, yeah, uh, review my entrenched spawn, please. Okay, give me two seconds and I will. Uh, when you have a job, you can't play all day. So, I mean, I work, <laughs> I just don't work, I just don't earn enough from my job to buy that much on Halo. Um, someone Jerry Hook left, he took the button that <laughs> rotates dailies, and the stick that says make armor set to 1200 in fair prices. 1200 was a perfectly fine price. Some of the bundles, you know, weren't the best, but 1200 overall, I'd argue, was a justifiable price. I do think most of the armor sets should be 1000. I think if they made most of the armor sets 1000, that would be so much better, but I can, I, I'm fine with 1200. I don't mind spending that much on it. They mean more stuff in the shop too because Fortnite refreshes every day. has way more content. Halo does it weekly and it doesn't feel like enough. The thing is with Fortnite, when Fortnite first come out, it didn't have anywhere near as much on the shop that it does now. But Fortnite's been out for like, what, five years? So, of course, it's going to have a lot more. But even then, Fortnite's always had frequent daily content rating, it, it rotating through and has always had a much better shop. That doesn't mean the prices on Fortnite are always amazing. But for the most part, everything was fair on Fortnite. So I like I think Fortnite sets the gold standard. I 
I mean, Fortnite isn't gay. Fortnite's a really, really good game. I play it, like, quite often now. Um, it's it's such a good game, especially with no build. It's so fun. And its shop system is pretty solid. You can earn credits for free. Not loads, but you can get, well, V-Bucks. You can get V-Bucks for free. There isn't loads, but you can get them for free, which I really respect. Uh, right, you want to look at your spawn. That's cool. I actually really like how that coating looks with that helmet. I love how it's the top of the head. That's one of the best ones I've seen for that. Uh, but that's that's really cool. I like that. That coating seriously gives me Green Hill Zone vibes from Sonic. It's it's pretty sweet. Uh, very nice one. That one as well. Really awesome. It's very simple. Very simple, but I like it. I like the dragon head on the battle rifle too. That's pretty sweet. So both of those very cool spawns. That one's a very unique one, so I, I like that. Are we seeing inflation in the cash shop? Yeah, true. Um, no build Fortnite is underrated. It really is. I, I haven't touched build in so long since no build come out. It's it's actually such a fun game. It's like, it is the gold standard for live service games. Without a doubt, Fortnite is the gold standard. So I have a lot of respect for Epic Games. And I can play as Master Chief in it too, so... Season 1 had, like, a crap ton of cosmetics that come out. Not, not, not like, loads and loads. But enough for them to add two more slots on the shop that just rotate Season 1 content. I'd rather play Sonic the Hedgehog from Sega than Fortnite. I mean, both are good games. <laughs> oh, so, um, speaking of live service games, Fall Guys is doing a Halo collab on the 30th of June. We're getting Master Chief, we're getting a Brute, we're getting a Grunt, and we are getting a Mark VI helmet with cat ears, which is hilarious. Now, I commented on the tweet about it earlier. I found it really funny that you can use the Mark VI in Fall Guys with the cat ears. However, in Halo Infinite, you can't use the cat ears with the Mark VI yet. I think that's hilarious. Because there's no cross-core yet, you can't use that attachment which is ridiculous because the, the Mark VI helmet is only available on the Mark V B core, which doesn't have the cat ears attachment. I think that's really funny that Fall Guys let you do that before Halo Infinite does. Or oh, Master Chief in the shop. The Mark VI core, the Gen 3 Mark VI armor core, should have been unlocked through the campaign. That's how you should have unlocked it. Those armor lockers, they should have given you the Mark VI armor core and then some pieces for it. Imagine if you unlocked the armor core and then Blue Team's armor through the campaign. People would have loved that. But nope, nothing like that. Is that Fall Guys free for Xbox owners, or do you have to pay even on Xbox? It's going to be free to play for everyone. It's it's You had to play pay for it when it first came out, but it's now going free to play. It's coming out on Switch, Xbox. Obviously, it's already on PlayStation. It's already on PC, but it will be going completely free to play. So I'm going to try that when it comes out, and I might... If I have to buy Master Chief, I will buy Master Chief. Hopefully, it's an Xbox... Game Pass Ultimate Reward, because they said they are doing some skins for that. But if I have to buy him, I'll buy him, because, I mean, come on, it's Master Chief. I don't care if it's Fall Guys. I don't care if it's Bean Master Chief. I logged on to Among Us just to get the Master Chief skin, and I don't even play Among Us. So, <laughs> like, I, I like will 100% log on to that. You know what? Fair enough. I respect it. I'm going to end up on a clip montage. Exactly, lol, I honestly think the attachment should be cross called. They should be. If you donate Magpie $5, he will put Master Chief in the shop for you. Uh, if I had the power to do that, I would, and I'd do it for free. If I had the power, I'd do it for free. Wow, you, you can tell someone's sweaty when they're rocking around with a full dripped out samurai. Like when they've spent loads of money on dripping out the samurai. I mean, I've spent a bit on mine, but like... <laughs> when they have the swords on the side, you know they're about to sweat on you. I will drop another double XP code in the chat in a moment. If anyone would like that. 
I'm going to drop the first one as well because I still don't know if anyone's claimed it. So the Halo 4 guys skins are free. Oh, I don't know if the skin the skins probably won't be free. You will probably have to buy the skins. The Katia's helmet will be free. A part of an event, you will be able to unlock the Katia's helmet for free. But the skins I don't think are free. I think you're going to have to buy the skins, but the game will be free. So that's that's fine. I mean, I've played Fall Guys before. I played it on the PlayStation for a little bit because it was... You could get, I want to say you could get it for free with PlayStation Plus. So I tried it. I can't remember if it was PlayStation Plus. Uh, it's a fun game. I just I didn't have anyone to play it with because none of my friends have it. Um, I'm, but when it goes free to play, well, they will have it. Oh. The samurai didn't see that coming. Spent so much money on dripping out all my cores. Yeah, I feel like I've spent more than I should have, honestly. I haven't exactly spent loads. I got them to a point where it's like, yeah, I'm happy with this. And then that was that. <laughs> Most of the time, I'll see a bundle for the Mark 7. It's like, that's really cool, but will I use any of this? I brought Zvezda. I spent 2,000 credits on Zvezda when that come out. Is that worth 2,000 credits? Absolutely not. However, I used that armor for ages. The thing is, now I don't use any of it. I don't use any of the Zvezda armor. So I feel like I wasted money there. Maybe I'll use some of it again. But I basically brought it for the shoulders. <laughs> so it's, uh, right, yeah. Oh, I thought I was going to miss that then. I was going to cry. Oh! You know what? I want to respect it again. But the fact that he's just camping there with a the repulsor is actually lame. Like, uh, you know, it's funny that he got me with it. But the fact that he's just camping there with it is so garbage. And he's so lucky that thing's up because I would have made it. I would have made it back up and I probably would have killed him. But he's just camping there now. Like, that's that's not... That's not exciting. That's not well played. You're just camping. You're just garbage. Actual gutter trash. What do you think will be in next week's shop? Kind of hard to predict because n normally we can view the items in the menu. Saying that, no, I know what will be in next week's shop. I know what will be in next week's shop. Give uh, When we finish this match, I will show you what will be in next week's shop. Well, some of what will be in next week's shop. I don't know everything, but I'm 99% sure that there is one specific bundle that will be in next week's shop. Other than that bundle, though, I have no idea. But I'll show you that bundle in a minute. I'm positive it will be on next week. Is that the same guy? Please don't tell me that's the same guy. I know there's some... Sucky spot. You suck. That's really horrible. Waiting for the full gold coatings for all the cores. Yeah, I've seen the full gold ones. They look sweet. The ones with little green lights. They look awesome. Assist. Come on. I 
And after this game, I'll uh, chuck out some more double XP. Wait for the Dookie Brown army. <laughs> I'm waiting for cross core. I could have sworn 343 said like, hey, some of this will be coming at the beginning of season two. We're what, two months into the season now? A month and a half, something like that. I love when people run off. I love it so much. It's so fun. You're so great at the game. You managed to run away from me like an absolute coward. Congrats, buddy. Congrats. Okay. All right, then. Look at that! Like, come on, man! Where are you going? We've lost the lead. Fair enough. <laughs> Someone up there just got repulsed off. Awesome. You love to see it. The lead is yours. Victory is within reach. Well, <laughs> he still died. What other games do you play? I play Halo. At the mini, the the main, the main game I'm playing right now is probably Fortnite. That's because my girlfriend has gotten crazy into Fortnite. She is obsessed. So I play it all the time with her and my friends. Uh, I'm also playing Jurassic World Evolution 2 at the minute. The new DLC come out for that. And that's really fun. I mean, I'm loving that game again. Uh, I mean, I loved the first Jurassic World Evolution. When the second one came out, I was very excited. Loved that. And now we've had the new DLC for this one, which so far has been really good and a lot of fun. And I'm going to be playing that as soon as I finish the stream. Um, because the movie was great as well. Obviously, I play Halo. At the minute, I'm only really playing Halo for videos. I still love playing through Infinite's campaign, and I play it on repeat. I occasionally play Master Chief custom games with my friends. But right now, I'm in a spot where I'm very angry at Halo. Uh, I still enjoy it. It's not that I dislike it. I still love this game. But I am angry at it. Uh, what other games do I play? What other games have I been playing? I play a lot of games, but at the minute... Uh, I started playing Sea of Thieves again. At the minute, I'm not exactly playing loads of games. Uh, but, you know, want to try some fiesta? No. no. No, 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 no. No, please, 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 please don't make me play fiesta. Fiesta on Halo Infinite is my least favorite thing ever of all time. I don't mind doing some land grab, but I refuse to touch fiesta. I can't stand it. I don't know why. I just I hate it so much. Hate it. I love Super Fiesta and Halo 5. Hate Fiesta or anything else. Halo in the game of life. Sandgrass feels as the default coating for their Cache and Eagle Strike. It's going to be cross-core. Yeah, well, if you look at Eagle Claw, you can... Oh, never mind. Okay. Maybe it was just yesterday. Someone was looking at Eagle Claw and the coat that was on the Mark 7 was the Rakasha one. Rakasha. I don't, I don't, I don't know. I kind of like how he looks, but... I mean, he looks like a jungle trooper from Star Wars. But I don't know. I'm just not feeling it right now. Oh, right. Okay. This chest piece... I almost dropped my controller. This chest piece... These shoulder pads next week. As well as... Can I get it up quick enough? This coating. Next week. Probably.
Fiesta rockets, 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 death. Screw this, Fiesta. Shimmering Stalker set next week. Gotcha, I'm really hoping for full gold. I, and I, I could be wrong, but I do very much think that it's that set next week. The fact that they're viewable, that visible in the menu basically points to them being in next week. Uh, I, other than that, I don't think there's any other bundles that are visible in the menu. Um, I could be wrong. There might be some emblems or stances that I don't care about. But right now, that's my only guess. I got a question for you. Do you think 343 should try to armor like gun bundles in Call of Duty? You can buy the armor or do challenges to unlock all the pieces. That would be kind of cool. Yeah, I'd, I'd like that. A way to unlock it for free. But... If you have the money, you can sort of fast track it. That that could work. Um, I mean, they could they could basically do that with events. Like so, with the events, you have your ten challenges for free, but people can spend credits to the zones there. Uh, like imagine if people could buy the event with credits to unlock all the stuff straight away, because maybe they don't have time to play through the event. Uh, I'd like that if that was an option, as long as obviously you know you can still unlock it for free. Or the helmet will unlock for 25 headshots or the chest. That that would be cool. I think something like that would work really well and would be very beneficial. Bro, I'm so bad at this game. I keep pressing the wrong mark button. I keep pressing Fortnite mark button. Okay. That was easier than I was expecting. What the? F what was that? That really. Okay, I went. To, I went to die there, but it's just my elite warlord figure. That's fine. I'll check if he's broken later. Have you tried the pineapple for enemy outline versus the red outline? <clears throat> I'm not a fan of the other colors. I much prefer just keeping it red. I can very. Cl I can very easily tell who's. You know, a teammate and who's an enemy. Um, yeah, I much prefer keeping it red. I've seen people use yellow, and I'm just not a fan. Okay, never mind. He's just better than me, I guess. <laughs> I guess. I guess I am just garbage. Only reasonable explanation. Which pains me to say. Oh, come on, man. How did he not, like, get launched off? That is crazy. I still killed him, but that's so disappointing, man. <gasps> it shouldn't have been suggested a huge catalogue of items. I, I mean, I've suggested this, like, I've su suggested that a million times before. But, that won't happen anytime soon. A big change like that will not happen anytime soon. And it's unreasonable to expect 343 to change it to something like that. Um, so, like, uh, I mean, yeah, like, I've been suggesting that since day one. Gears 5 started out with a shop system like Infinite's but changed it with a catalogue that adds new stuff every week. Um, so, yeah, I think it will go to that eventually, but I, no, I've been suggesting that for ages. It's, it's not going to happen anytime soon. Maybe, maybe Season 5. I don't expect that anytime soon. It's just a warm-up, my fellow spot. I've been warming up for the past hour, <laughs> so it's a very long warm-up if that's the case. Gotta pop some G Fuel. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, did you get the care brush yet? Nope. I only did six tiers last time the event was on. Got fed up of it. Do not like land grab. Do not like playing it. Do not like playing the event mode. Only like playing big team battle. And so far, I've only done one challenge this week. So I will not get Kerberos until the next time the event's on. Uh, which I don't know when it is. Nor do I really care all that much. I want it. But at the same time... I'm not that bothered about it, if that makes sense. 
I'm a moron. I think it should. I think they rely on Phobon way too much. Kind of. Uh, I. I don't know. I don't necessarily think that's the case, because realistically, you're going to make more money if your shop has more variety and has more way to obtain those items. And if more items are cycling through the shop, you're more than likely going to make more money. So I don't necessarily agree in the sense that they're relying on FOMO. I think it's more so just incompetency. I think they're just really incompetent in terms of running a live service game. Do I think this shop system overall is better than Halo 5's pack system? Kind of. Simply because, at least with this, I know what I'm getting. Halo 5, you can unlock the packs for free, so that's bonus points in Halo 5's favour. However, you're also not guaranteed to get the thing you want. At least with a shop bundle, I can look at it and say, This is crap. I don't want to waste my money on this, so I won't buy it. Or, This is awesome. I want to spend my money on this, so I will buy it. He tried to ninja me. You're not, you're not, you're not playing ranked, buddy. Get out. Get out. I, I think the type of shop they're trying to do, they should look at Fortnite. Did we lose? We were three points ahead. I let us down there. That was, that's on me. That's on me. I'll take the fall. Um... I mean, they've all, they've all unlocked all the event stuff and the battle pass. They're a bunch of sweats, aren't they? Like, come on. Uh, yeah, I just... The, the type of shop they're trying to go for, they should really look at Fortnite for it as an example. Look at the epic skin called Grassroots. That won't be in the shop. The Grassroots stuff is completely separate. That will not be in the shop. I don't know how you'll get it, but it won't be in the shop. Might be like a Twitch drop reward. You're on about... Where is it? That one. It looks sweet. I love it. That will not be in the shop. So don't expect that one anytime soon. Yay. Knee pads. Uh, the shop just feels like a worse version of Fortnite. It is. It's a terrible, terrible version of Fortnite that is somehow deteriorating in quality. I kind of want the point bombardment coating, but I don't really want to spend my credits on a coating for an armor set that I probably won't use that much. So I'm not going to. Um, I want to check something. Oh, I've unlocked that coating now. You know what? Yeah, we'll mix things up. It's, uh... Okay, never mind, we'll switch for a game. Fair enough. What are my challenges? In score. Complete matches. Okay, cool. Don't enjoy any of the event playlists. Just Big Team Battle and Tactical. I have a love-hate relationship with Big Team Battle in this game. It's the most enjoyable mode on here. But it's also the worst version of Big Team Battle yet. It's like... They took Warzone, and yeah, they chucked out the pay to win, but they also chucked out the vehicles, and they also chucked out the PVE. <laughs> like, you barely see any vehicles, bar the Warthog and Ghost. And although it's 12v12, it doesn't feel like it. There's none of those big scale battles. Everything just feels underwhelming on Infinite Big Team Battle. Uh, so I like it, but it's also the worst version of Big Team Battle we've had. I like that it went to 12v12, but it doesn't feel like 12v12. It honestly doesn't feel any bigger than playing Halo 3's Big Team Battle, which is only 8v8. <laughs> it's it's just not, uh, I don't know, it's just not the best. Tactical Slayer, I don't like though. I do not like Tactical Slayer, it's such a sweat fest. Uh, but... Yeah, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It's each to our own. I don't like Fiesta, but Fiesta is like my brother's favourite mode. I despise Oddball, but my brother enjoys Oddball. So.
Oh, my aim. Wow, he should not have. He should not have died to me. There, I, I'm so garbage. Actual doo doo water. It's nice to see we both meleeed at the same time. We both thought, yeah, he's close enough to punch, even though we were nowhere near each other. Will we be seeing Griff Ball anytime soon? Uh, I would not expect Griff Ball until we get Forge, simply because there'd be no map for Griff Ball. Uh, I would like to see Griff Ball come back. I think it's a very fun mode. Not one that I can sink loads of hours into, but it's one that I like to sort of break things up with a little bit, other than when people sweat on it. I don't understand why people sweat on Griff Ball. It's not that deep. It's not that serious. But do not expect Griff Ball until we get Forge. I could be wrong. But I would not expect Griff Ball until we get Forge. I was going to say, drop a drop wall, please. I'm throwing, I'm throwing, I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Uh... Hey, make sure you all join the Discord, by the way. <laughs> if you're all here, join the Discord. Then you can be alerted to when I stream and get really annoyed when I ping you about my Minecraft server. And also, you know, it's dead, and I'd like it to not be dead, please. Okay, guys. Um, honestly, Griff Ball might suck because of the changes to melee weapons. The sword, and I mean, now that the sword and Grav Hammer can trade, the problem is the, the Grav Hammer is slower, but it feels a lot more powerful. If they add gravity effects to the Grav Hammer, bring the gravity effects back, which they said they will eventually... Griff Ball would probably be fine. Uh, or Infection, old school. I would love Infection. Uh, but the problem is, Infection with the Bulldog? Infection with the Bulldog would stink, man. Uh, I mean, okay, maybe I'm, take, maybe I'm uh, over-exaggerating. Infection with the Bulldog would be okay. But it would not feel the same with the Bulldog not having anywhere near the power of the usual Halo shotgun. Wow, the Sentinel Beam's a monster on this game. Hi, Mike Pileon. I've arrived. How you doing, Em? I want to see elites and brutes grunts and multiplayer instead of only spawns. I would love playable elites. I would love playable brutes. I reckon it'll happen. I reckon it'll come with some kind of story DLC. Like, we might get a story DLC where he plays the Arbiter. But I do not see that happening for at least three to four years. I simply do not see that happening for a good while. It will happen. I am very positive that it will happen. But it will not happen anytime soon. Which sucks, but it won't. Infection with a long shot bulldog. Long shot bulldog would be OP. The 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 issue isn't the range of the bulldog, it's the power. The I mean the long shot bulldog is pa more powerful, or at least it feels more powerful, and its range is super busted. So, I don't think that would be very good either. Um, like, I mean, you're going to have the sidekick, which will obviously one-shot, has a good rate of fire. Like, one-shot to the head, at least, has a good rate of fire. And then you have the bulldog, which up close is fine. It's still probably going to one-shot the infected. But, because of how the reload works, 
uh, the the ammo and everything for it. Like, you've got to think, it doesn't have your individual bullets. So if you've got a bunch of infected run out here, usually what you can do is reload one shot, take an infected out. Reload another shot, take an infected out. The bulldog, you can't do that. You don't have that privilege. Um, so I think that could damage some of the gameplay. The problem is, the long shot bulldog, the range on it's too good. It's too good. It would not be fun in infection. It would not be fun to deal with. Uh, I mean, honestly, to be fair, I'm saying this. The bulldog might actually make infection feel more balanced. <laughs> So, I don't know, I'll wait and see before I give any decisive opinion on it. Right, let me change my spawn up. Don't suppose you'd mind going back to Big Team Battle? Not a fan of that. Not a fan. I'll go with that for a bit. Uh, what other vices do I have? I have a gold one. I'll go with better. Uh, my my pile on what's your opinion? Are they made outfits? Yes, yes, that would be awesome. I want to see some energy sword skins like the red one in the campaign. That would be sweet. The red one is a variant because obviously it has the uh, it's like a hard light one. But we had energy sword skins in Master Chief Collection. I would love energy sword skins. I'd love a green energy sword skin. I'd love a white energy sword skin. I'd love a yellow energy sword skin. Something like that would be really cool. They could give us energy sword models, like weapon models for the sword. One that turns it into the Prophet's Bane. That'd work. Do you think the pump shotty is required for a good infection mode? No. The thing is, you can make good infection modes on Halo in custom games without a shotgun. Without a shotgun involved. I mean, most infection modes, you can pick up other weapons anyway. However... That pump shotgun is iconic and is a big part of the mode. Now, I do think the Bulldog can work in Infection. It'll be different, but I think it can work. Do I think it'll be as good? Well, right now I'm probably saying no because of nostalgia and I want the original shotgun to come back. However, I think Infection could work perfectly fine. Unlike Shotty Snipers, the Bulldog does not work in Shotty Snipers. Shotty Snipers in this game is pretty trash. Um... Because it just doesn't work as well with the Bulldog. The Sniper and Shotgun can both be one-shot kill guns, so they both work together well. One covers the long, the longest of ranges, the other covers the closest. The Bulldog doesn't really work the same way the OG Shotgun does, so it doesn't work in Shotty Snipers. But in Infection, there's a pretty high chance it could work. I know I said, like, it'd probably suck, but I do think some of that is nostalgia talking. I think the Bulldog could actually work really well in Infection. Obviously, we'll wait and see. Do you think after this we could try Fusion Coil Slayer and Customs? How does that work? My Leon, help, my nose keeps leaking. I feel bad. I will try your spawn in a maid outfit. That'd be funny. Right, XP codes. Here's the, the first one again, just in case no one claimed it. Let me just get another one. Right, point blank shotgun should be one shot. Yeah, the, the Bulldog at very close range. In fact, did have no shields. Oh, not Breaker again! I mean, it's Capture the Flag, which is better, but come on! There's better maps! Kong Slayer, you spawn with fusion coils, and when you throw one, you immediately get another. That's, that sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Uh, I'm down for that. Eventually, I'm going to start doing more. Well, obviously, I do custom game nights on Infinite. 
Haven't done one for a while. Uh, I want to start doing them again, but I don't enjoy Infinite enough to do them right now. Uh, but I'll get back to it eventually. Let me just get this new double XP code. Mm, I clicked the wrong thing. Sorry. Okay. Might have to add some bots though. Yeah, that's fine. I don't like cowards. <laughs> I don't like cowards. That was that was score me, bro. I don't even care. I was talking in game chat. I like the bulldog. Like a lot of people really hate the bulldog, but I think it's a pretty cool gun. It's just not a replacement for the original shotgun. Uh, the problem is because the original shotgun isn't here, it will be seen as a replacement. Uh, but. You know, I like it. It's its own gun at the end of the day, though. It's it's not it's not the original shotgun. Oh, shit. The problem is, is the force into modes, which should have the original shotgun, not the bulldog, like shotty snipers, where it, the bulldog just doesn't work because it fulfills a different role in the sandbox. Three four three know this. They designed it that way. <laughs> I only play custom games by myself just to get the medic achievement. Oh, that's fair. I uh, I like custom games on infinite. Ah! Ah. Right, here's another XP code. What the game's... Oh, wait, never mind. I'm waiting there. Oops, shotty. Mate, they got melted, man. I love the Sentinel Beam on this game. The Sentinel Beam on Infinite's amazing. It's phenomenal. That landed? Ah, oh, picked up the salt rifle and said the flag. Not that he would have minded. I died either way. Shit. 
The double XP codes. If you redeem them on Halo Waypoint, it will give you double XP. Well, it'll give you, like, a, obviously a double XP thing in the game. Yeah, like just two secs of full focus laser beam kill from full shield. Yeah, I love the sentinel beam. The sentinel beam in most other games, I always pick it up, even though it's it's complete garbage in other Halo games. Like it's really not that good. But on Infinite, it's like now it's a good gun. Yeah, there's there's two double XP codes there for anyone that wants to redeem them. One of them might have already been redeemed. I put it on very early on in the stream, but I've put it back on because I no one said if they've claimed it, so I don't know. But the second one is completely new. So redeem that. Fingers crossed. Yeah, the double XP. Just make sure you go onto Halo Waypoints and log in and whatnot. Yeah, let, let us know if it works. And then I know not to send those codes again. Hello, Sentinel Beam. I love how effective it is against vehicles as well. Like, that's so surprising to see it just absolutely melt through them the way it does. Forge, please. Is that Warthog? Yeah, that Warthog did not even make it out of our base. That's crazy. I love Capture the Flag on Big Team Battle. It's the best Big Team Battle mode. However, break it just... It just it isn't it, man. Like, break it looks so nice, but it's not fun to play on. It's not fun to play on. I wish it was, but it isn't. <laughs> it's a bit better for vehicles, but there's only two vehicles on here: the Ghost and the Warthog. There's no even. There's no Rocket Hog. There's no Gun Goose. There's no Chopper. It's always just Warthog and Ghost. So I'm sick of playing it because it always feels repetitive. I just wish it had more on here. The fact that there's no Gauss here, like Gus Warthog, Gauss Warthog. I, I miss that vehicle so much. Let's go. What's your fave Rumble Pit mode? I've played Rumble Pit once and I got Ninja Slayer, the one with the swords and grapples. So I'm going to say that down to the fact that it's the only one that I played. It was very fun. Um, I was very angry that I shouldn't, that I didn't win though, because the guy that did win was going around killing all the AFK players, <laughs> which really annoyed me. That was the only reason he won, <laughs> not because he was better than me, but because he knew where people spawned in that weren't playing the game. Yeah, but the sudden grapple mode is very fun. Uh, do you like last spawn standing? Because I hate last spawn standing. To answer that as quickly as possible, can't stand it. It's not balanced. It's not fun. I made an entire video talking about why I don't last it like last spawn stand actually. So let me link that for you to watch after the stream. <laughs> uh, it wasn't that long ago when it loaded, was it? Okay. Uh yeah, check check this one out after the stream. This basically summarizes why I don't like last spawn standing, why I think it's a mess. Uh, and obviously, I'm not saying that people shouldn't enjoy it. Uh, I just it's it's not for me. I never want to play it again. Whenever I get challenged for last spawn standing, skip. I just skip it because it's it's not fun. It's not fun. Come on, we need this flag. We need this flag. They have gone full defensive, man. They are in the trenches right now. No way! Hold on, hold on. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you. Hold on, Let's go. 
us go. Where are we going? Oh, okay. All right. The express. Let's do the. <sighs> Yet. I see one. I see one. I see one. Whoa! Recently, been trying to improve my commando. Oh, no. The commando is such a good weapon if you know how to use it. I mean, my personal recommendation: start on the body, recoil kicks in, shield breaks. You're already at the head at that point in time. What the hell? I've just spawned in. You're already at the head at that point in time. One tap to the head, they are gone. Yeah, I, I'm going to assume the codes have been used. <laughs> I'm going to hope they've been used. I mean, hey, even if you've beat the battle pass, redeem the code. Check, maybe, as long as they haven't been redeemed. And then you've got the double XP for next season. Do you think they should buff the commando? No. No, I think the commando's fine. Commando's really good. It's uh, it just, you got to be skillful enough to use it. Um... I don't even remember the commando being better in the flight. If anything, I think it was worse. I'm going to have to mute the guy that's talking, man. He sounds like he's breathing like Darth Vader down the mic. Um, but no, the command is fine. I think it's a really solid weapon. It's a very balanced weapon. You have to be good enough to know how to use it right. It's rewarding. Um, so there's nothing I'd change about it. Sometimes I guess the recoil can be a little bit much, but it's manageable, so I wouldn't say that's something that needs changing. Oh, ho, ho, he wasn't escaping that time, was he? Oh, he keeps trying it. I think that's the same guy. Someone's child is just screaming in game chat. How do I mute people? Um, oh shit! Oh, oh, you spotted me. Is that in here? There we go. Do you think the BR would be chosen over the commando? I usually choose the battle rifle over the commando. It's not because I think the commando is worse. Um, it's genuinely just down to the fact that. I mean, the battle rifle's, like, basically the optimal weapon. The commando's very good, but the commando requires more skill. Uh, hence the reason I picked the battle rifle of the commando. Because if you are good enough with the commando rifle, then it's basically... The options are on par with one another. Uh, there's, like... They're both equally as good as each other if you are good enough with both of them. However... Overall, the battle rifle is probably the better option to pick up, simply because it requires less skill to use. But uh, I, I love the commando. Do you have an Instagram for you, YouTube too? I do have an Instagram, but I'm very unactive. I use my Twitter quite a lot. Um, so if you have Twitter, that's probably the best place to follow me. If you want to keep up with any of my non-YouTube stuff, Twitter's the way to go. I have an Instagram. But I rarely use it. I'm sorry, but like, come on, what did you expect? We're playing Breaker, man. I'd have to think what my Instagram's called. It's probably, it's probably just Magpie Leon. Uh... So, like, feel free to follow me. I'm just very, very, very unactive on there. Same guy. Meets the three lines button, middle control. Oh, right. I mean, I figured it out now anyway. I can just, I can just, I just change the settings. Ugh. I know I've been going on about people running and I started running there. However, I was a huge disadvantage. This has been such an intense match. How am I doing? Am I actually playing well or... 21 kills! I did okay! <laughs> Not amazing, but I did okay. If we were on high power, I would have done better as long as I had the wasp. One 
one's got launch it. I'm saying that as if everyone in the chat is in the match. <laughs> Called break it because it will break your spirit. I love that. That's amazing. It's just it's the fact that it just doesn't feel like a big team battle map. There's no big team battle involved. It's just I'm gonna drive across this ramp on my warthog, instantly get shockwave grenade and die. Duel me! You coward! You had a sword. We could have dueled. But no, I'm going to run away with my bell rifle. Hate players like that, man. We could do something cool, but no. We need to run. Why, why is he driving off, bro? It's, it's capture the flag. Come on. Let's go. We're gonna die. We're gonna die straight away. We're gonna die straight away. Why were you gonna impulse me too, my guy? Yeah, absolute coward. Uh, I mean, if anyone's interested in following my Twitter, I will link that now. The Discord is the pinned comment. Join the Discord. Join the Discord. So I can make it not dead. Please. <laughs> Here's my Twitter for those that care. Uh, I basically either just rant about Halo or post stuff about other things that I play. Uh, my Instagram... I don't know what to link an Instagram account, I'll be honest. My Instagram's just magpileon, all one word. It's so hard to clap the flag on the spot. It is, it's because... It's, Although it's designed better for vehicles, because of the weapons available at base, there's shock rifles, there's shock grenades, uh, people can just EMP vehicles straight away, and both the ways to get across the map are both basically kill routes. I take it my double XP is expired now anyway, aren't it? Uh, we'll do that custom mode that you were on about, and then after that, I'm probably going to call it. You know, I'm, say I'm saying this about like, my Twitter and Instagram. They're on the screen. <laughs> I completely forgot. They're on the screen. <laughs> the bottom left corner, the right there. <laughs> my brain is non-existent. Join the Discord and follow John Twitter. I appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, 
What mode are we on now? Oh, we're on Kong Slay. Okay, is this the custom game, I'm assuming, then? Let's uh, see what this is about. I was about to say, that, that isn't me, what the hell? Oh, my only team was just bots. Condemned to play with bots. A fate worse than death. So, if I throw this, I just get another coil. Intriguing. Oh my god, the jump out too. But it's not instant, so you can't just spam, so I appreciate that. I'm a moron. I'm an idiot. I threw one at a wall right next to me. <laughs> oh, we're getting decimated. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. No worries. No worries. The jump part's a bit too much, I think. And the coils don't one hit, I guess. Uh, mm, I don't know. I think you jump too high. With the fact that it's so easy to just, like, for your fusion coil to clip a wall. Uh, and recharge as well as a very sort of closed map. So, I mean, maybe the jump out wouldn't be as bad if we were on a different map like Behemoth. Behemoth would probably be much better for this. But, if I'm being honest, not a huge fan. Could just be saying that because I'm the only person on my team that's gotten kills because the bots suck. Uh, so maybe that will hinder my <laughs> opinion on it. Uh, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's the map. It's, it's just... Uh, it feels a bit awkward. Well, I, th I think Behemoth would be perfect for this. Doesn't work on Behemoth. That sucks, man. It's like uh, free for all modes don't work on Breaker. Like, you can't play them, you don't respawn. Which is so garbage. I'm convinced I hit you with like four coils then. Um, but yeah, if you play free for all modes on Breaker, you just can't respawn. Which. I don't understand how that's even a bug. I, I do not get it. And custom games apparently isn't even a priority for 343, because why would it be? Because it's not like custom games are the only thing that keeps most of the Halo games alive. I guess we could chat on Bazaar or something. No, it's okay. I'm probably going to call it after this one anyway. So it's just a uh, recharge with the, the, the where the roof is. I feel like I just keep jumping into the roof and then I might throw a fusion coil and kill myself with that. <laughs> I mean, look at that. None of the bots on my team have got any kills. I know none of the bots on your team have got any kills, but you've got two players. <laughs> Quite frankly, I think I've proven I'm not that good at the game. Okay. No idea how I killed you. But fair enough.
Do you think they'll open up extra areas on the map? Like streets and bazaar. Yeah. Oh, like how there's those like parts of the map that were like sort of blocked off. Ah, uh, I don't know. I think that's very unlikely. You'll be. I. I imagine you'll be able to on forge, but as far as normal matchmaking goes, very unlikely. They might do variants, like for certain modes, so for like infection. Uh, because they had that on Halo 5 where you could play, like, sort of edited versions of the map. So maybe, but I think that's very unlikely, which is a shame because I think if they had added the different options for casual playlists, that would go a long way. It made the maps feel unique. Uh, even if there were only slight changes, you know, it added a bit of diversity to it. I'm clipping that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I think they were closed off for balancing reasons. Uh, I'm, ass I'm assuming that's, that's the only logical explanation. Um, if they affected the map flow and the balancing of the game. Because Infinite, uh, unfortunately, caters much more to the competitive side. Uh, that's not to say it doesn't have casual things going on. But it caters much more to the competitive side. Uh, and a lot of the maps were designed to work well in competitive. Uh, the the problem with that is it makes a lot of the maps feel much more bland in comparison to prior games. And that's why a lot of those optional routes would have been deleted or blocked off to make the map more competitive and to, uh, to improve the map flow for competitive. Which is why I say like for casual playlists, they could bring some of those routes back. Like implement some of them for casual. And I think a lot of people would love that. Uh, but as for now, uh, I think it's unlikely. No. Uh. I guess bots can't throw fusion coils. They're kind of stupid. <laughs> A lot of it randomizes the coil. Uh, that's kind of cool. That was a direct hit. And then and then I started lagging. <laughs> oh. Well played, good game. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to call the stream that. Thank you everyone that's come on. It's been a very good stream. It's been very fun. First time I've played Infinite properly in a couple of weeks. And I actually didn't completely hate it. So thank you all for that. Um, the way I genuinely, genuinely really appreciate it. We'll be live again next Wednesday. Not sure what with yet. Might mix it up, might play something else. Not entirely sure. But until then, I will catch you all.